Page 29, the Vertimento in D. Obviously it's in D major, two sharps, okay, so F sharps and C sharps, right? Hopefully you can do the scale on D major. Both hands, one octave up and down. Go to my scale video on D major and learn the scale if you don't know it. It will help you in playing pieces in that key. A divertimento, well, you can read about it up there. It's a, just kind of a, a piece to play when you don't know what else you want to play. To, to something to mess around with, sort of. Well, take it a little more seriously than that, but that's sort of what it is to me. Now, if you look at it, it's like, oh, it's got notes going all over. What a mess this is, you know, but we'll see if we can make some sense out of it. Right hand first, you have a pickup beat coming in on beat four, so that means the last measure, sure enough, has three counts in it. We're good to go. Right hand's here, so you're in D position to start at least, and it's four. Four, one. Rest in. To rest, and during the rest you come up because it has an 8 VA over it. And you're up here, so it's one, two, rest. A goes away during the rest to come down to this position. Now we're in A position. Don't forget the C sharps, they're in the key signature. To rest. Third line down, you, during the rest you come up a little bit. Then during the rest come up again. To rest and then the, the Note is written here, but it's an 8 VA, so you really you're in position. You're already there, so just stay there. And that's 8 VA all the way through the rest of the thing. So fourth, except in the last measure, for that chord, I recommend you reach up. See, so it's an octave with an F sharp. Just reach up and play it 2 5. Here. Usually they tell you to do that. I disagree with that fingering, I really do. I'll just stick, reach up. Here, the chord is this. With the deal, I mean, you do this, or we do what's called an extended position, where we play the octave, and that changes the fingering to that. Well, we're not using the A as all, so it's here. Left hand, starting out with the D chord, the one chord, and then the five seven chord, or the A7 chord. D chord. And then 4 and 4 and. It's the same rhythm as the right hand, just different notes. Because, and then the AVA, it's both hands. So you have to see the second line at the top, it says both hands. So that during the rest, sometime during the rest, after the left hand or the right hand gets out of the way, you move the right hand up here. And you're just playing it here. And then during the rest, come down here as the AVA goes away. And then third line, one and two and three and four and one and. And then you have the rests. And the last line, you come down during the rest down here where you started. Put the hands together here. Both hands get a rest on beat three. One, two, three. So you're playing the same rhythm but different notes. Here. Two, three. Again, both hands are resting on beat three. One, two, three. And during the rest, the right hand comes up. And as the right hand plays that, the left hand comes up. This way you only have to move one hand at a time, and I do that if I can. I don't like moving both hands at the same time. You have to sometimes, but if I can help it, I don't. So here, I do right hand first, and then left hand. To rest. Now here you're moving, during the rest you're moving, but the left hand's only going a little ways. It's the right hand. Two, three. Third line, one hand. It's one hand at a time here, so make sure you're not overlapping here, so it's... Now it's together. Two, three, and 
then as you're playing this, the left hand comes up. Rest. Work it out as slow as you gotta go, but get it steady. No hesitations, no glitches, just work on it. You can play it all legato right now. And then once you have that, then we can add in this articulation, the phrasing, the slurs, the staccatos and stuff. Keep the left hand on these chords. Keep them as connected as you can. If you can't, but try. Left hand, or right hand's connected. Rest. That's a slur. Staccato. Be careful not to get too much of an accent on the staccatos. That's the tendency. Don't. Keep it down. Connect. Rest. Slur. Lift up between each slur is a little silence. Again. Now for Mata, you just hang on to that a little while. If I do this with a metronome, which I will, I will double that and hold it for four counts instead of two. And then we go on, connect them. And you can lift up between them and, and have a little silence between the chord. That's the articulation and the dynamics. I apply to the melody. That's the right hand in this piece. Keep the left hand soft throughout. It's loud. Whatever you think loud is. Keep the left hand out of the way. And then it's like a, an answer to that that's very soft in the, in the right hand. The left hand is super soft. And loud in the right hand. Left hand still a little soft. Soft in the in the right hand. The left hand is very soft. And you, you got a slow crescendo. You're going to go back up to loud, but you don't want to get loud until you get to the middle of the hairpins. And if you look in the middle of the hairpins, you'll see those eighth notes right there. That's the loudest part at the beginning of that. So you're going to go up to there. So plan it out. This is soft, soft, moderately soft. Moderately loud. Now you're up to loud. And you're getting softer as you go on. Don't get soft until the half note. There's also a retardando there to slow down. And then you take off again, loud in the right hand, soft in the left. soft and that has a fermata on it. Now if you play it really soft you can just hold it until it dies away otherwise I'm going to double it and just hold it for two counts. Speed wise well keep in mind a divertimento is kind of a, a fun type piece and they, they're they not giving you the real word for it. They keep saying allegro moderato. Moderately. You have moderato and you have allegro, and in between them there's a term called allegretto, and that's what I call the fun speed. Well, anytime I think of a fun piece, I think allegretto, and that's sort of what this is. It's allegro moderately la is allegretto in a way. So there's more than one way to indicate a, a tempo or speed. That's why it just keeps getting interestinger and interestinger. So whatever you feel moderately fast is. whole note or the half note with the fermata and again that gets back to add color to a sustained note 
I'm going to leave out petal here because that's the only place they used it. So I'm not going to add color here. No one else has color. So if you want to add color to that note and pedal it, push the notes down first and then push the pedal down and lift the pedal with the notes so we hear one beat of rest. I don't agree with their pedaling there. I want to hear on the third beat, I want to hear a rest before you play the fourth beat. I'm not going to show any pedaling. It's right there. You can do the pedaling on it. I like to play this with you very, very slowly to double check the notes and the rhythm. I'm not going to do the dynamics. I'll give us three counts, so let's just try it together. One, ready, go. Rest. Mm -hmm. 